Workers aged between 15 and 24 years make up about 18% of the Queensland workforce. 4,000 young workers suffer a serious injury at work each year. That's an injury that keeps them off work for at least five days, and possibly one that will affect their ability to work for the rest of their life. A serious injury affects not just the worker, but their colleagues and supervisor, their family and their friends. As a supervisor or manager of a young worker, you have the greatest influence on their attitude to work safety. This means ensuring an appropriate level of supervision relevant to the tasks that they are performing. Young workers have a unique risk profile. They may not notice when a situation becomes dangerous or they may misjudge the level of risk. They may be less likely to ask questions or raise safety concerns and they model their behaviour off others, whether that behaviour is right or wrong. Because they're generally eager, they may overestimate their, their capabilities or the ease of the task ahead. For example, uh, a, a larger piece of glass, which is a two-man lift, they may still try to lift the, the panel by themselves because they're, they're try, trying to show that they're eager and they think they can do it. So an induction is really important uh, into a particular task or using a particular piece of equipment, making sure that that work is competent in performing that work. Uh, it's really important that they understand the work that's going on around them and it's also really important to ensure that they're supervised. They need to respect the environment, so the factory, but also the product, and understand what, what they're up against. It, it's a safe environment and it's a safe product if you understand what, what, what the dangers are. Young workers are at a different developmental stage than older workers. And with that knowledge, we've created a program that allows us to connect and to capture the attention of our young workers in a way that's age appropriate. Effective induction, proper training, regular supervision and supportive mentoring is vital for a young worker to adopt the right attitude to safety and develop safe work practices. For example, using a tell me, show me, watch me approach can help to make sure a young worker is competent to perform a particular task or use a piece of equipment. Similarly, involving young workers in the planning of work procedures helps encourage them to participate in safety meetings, ask questions and raise concerns. Let's follow two young workers as they go about their workday to see how the interactions with their supervisors and their experiences can differ. This is Jack. He is 20 and lives with his mum and dad. He works part-time at a warehousing and logistics factory. He has a good working relationship with his boss, Steve. Steve knows from his own experiences that showing a bit of extra support and effective communication goes a long way to ensuring a young worker like Jack can work safely. This is Billy. He is 20 and he is a first year apprentice at a metals manufacturing company. He has just moved in with his girlfriend, Jenny. Billy's boss, John, doesn't really get Billy and he thinks Gen Y are generally a bit frustrating to deal with. He remembers getting by on common sense when he was an apprentice. Hey Steve, Matt and I have just finished off moving those glass panels you asked us to do. What's next? Do you remember where we store this gear? Yeah, of course, up on the shelves. That's correct, but we're going to have to use this electric pallet stacker to get them up there and that can be risky. I think this is the one I used in my last workplace. Okay, it's good that you're keen, but you're going to have to go through and make sure that you're confident in using this machine in this workshop. Okay, cool. First thing we need to do is go through a pre-start checklist and also go through on how to operate the controls. That's what the documentation and the checklist is for. But we need to find if there's any maintenance issues or defects. If there is any maintenance issues or defects, you need to follow that through with me or your floor supervisor. Okay. So I'll give you a demo first by removing that first pallet up there safely. Then I'll give you a go to do the second one. Billy, good you're finally here. Come over here and make yourself useful. I've got a hundred things I need to do today, so I need a hand. Can you get stuck into these brackets? We need about ten. All of them with the bolt holes and in about an hour. Okay? Um, yeah, so you just wanted me to use the drill press to put the bolt holes into the brackets? Yeah, I've seen you use that before. It's pretty simple. Just make sure that's clamped down. Common sense, all right? Um, it was actually Chris who was using this. I only used the handheld, but it, it wasn't a problem. Good. 
So if you get stuck, just watch one of the other guys. You shouldn't really have any issues with this. It's pretty simple. Hang on. The phone's just ringing. Can I leave you with that? Uh, yeah, that's it's okay. That's how you do it. Any questions before you have a go? No, I think I'm right. Let's give it a go. What's the first thing you need to remember? Well, I've got to make sure that the area is clear and that there's nobody around so that there's actually enough room to do the job. Then I've got to make sure that the forks are actually in the right position and both lower and lift the load slowly. Finally, I've got to make sure that there's not too much weight on the pallet, the machine, or the shelves themselves. OK. It's your turn now. Nice work, Jack. Were you comfortable with that? Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, I'm glad we took it a bit slower, though. This one's a lot bigger than the one at my last workplace. I see you noticed that the new pallets are a lot heavier, so you took things nice and slow. You didn't rush. That was good. Billy, what the heck? I told you to keep that clamp down. And where's the coolant? This is exactly why, mate. That could spin out of control and slice you open. I'm sorry, I was just trying to do it quickly because you said I have an hour and I, I checked the other guys like you said and they were doing it that way. Well, those guys have been doing it for a lot longer than you and they would have been clamping that down. So don't worry about them, just worry about what you're doing, all right? OK. John, we'll... where were you at? Huh? I need those orders out. I need it done before lunchtime. What's the holder? Sorry, Gary, we just had a few things come up. One of the guys went home crook and, you know, we're down on staff and I'm just watching Bill here do some drilling. That is our priority, OK? I cannot afford to have my floor supervisor over here babysitting the apprentice, OK? While I've got such a big order to fill. I need this done ASAP, OK? Sort it for me. Sure, Gary. I'll, I'll be back on it in a sec. <sighs> Sorry about that, Billy. Mate, I really can't afford this. You're not up to the task, so just take five and clean the benches over there, will you? Okay. How did your week at college go last week? Yeah, really, really well. I can really see you enjoying it. You're starting to pick up things very quickly. Oh, thanks. Hey, speaking of college, if you need to be looking at your training record book, just let me know. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Cheers, Steve. How's your footy season going? Not as well as my uh, pallet lifting, I'll tell you what. <laughs> hey, mate. Hey. How's things? Yeah, fine. Well, except John just sent me on a fiver because I almost shut down production for the day. Whoa, okay. Yeah, well, I was trying to put the um, bolt holes into the brackets. Yeah. But I didn't secure it to like the drill press and it just it kicked out and almost got me. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous, that actually. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I don't understand half of what John expects of me. I mean, like, it's so rushed and nothing's clear. It's just it's different from half the job. Have you talked to him about that? Uh, he kind of looks busy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine, you know. Sink or swim, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. See ya. See ya. We know that providing mentoring and, and social support is really important to, to allow young workers to engage with their work environment socially. So some of the examples that we've seen uh, where industry is engaged with their young workers around safety uh, has had really positive outcomes. The YOLO program is a, is a purpose-built program of hazard management specifically designed for young workers. We've created a program that allows us to connect and to capture the attention of our young workers and we give them fit for purpose tools to identify hazards and to control the hazards. Our policies don't, don't shift whether you're young or more experienced. But what does change is, is how we communicate or articulate uh, the processes, their responsibilities and what they're accountable for, what we're accountable for as management. Every session at the power station, we had our power station manager launch the program for us and speak personally to our young, our young employees. And what they spoke about was their personal experiences as a young worker and what they now do and what they now consider to be really important from a leadership perspective to guide young workers um, through their career safely. We also have leadership training here, so we develop the young person or the individual's emotions as well. 
so that they have the hard skills, but also the emotional experience to cope with what the challenges are of leading peers or, or a large team. And, and on top of that, our, our uh, operation managers or, or, or site managers are, are, are very apt and, and experienced at coaching other teams, team members. Yeah. The key improvement that's been achieved through our YOLO program is 75% reduction in injuries to young workers since we've, we've run the YOLO program. That's a significant reduction and of course fits very well with our value for safety. But it's it's just not just the, the mentoring program, it's the whole culture that we, we have, they believe it's a good open environment. Um, there's a high level of trust. Um, we encourage them to continually improve their skill levels. So there's a challenge there. The impact on culture has also been with our mentors and with our leaders for them to understand that young workers do in fact see the world slightly differently than do older workers. That realisation in itself has a massive impact on our culture because then we can, we can go in and make sure that we're talking to our young workers in a way that's fit for purpose for them. Through effective induction and training, appropriate supervision and good feedback, and supportive mentoring, young workers will become more aware of how to do the job safely. Engaging with young workers through consultation will also enable them to share their ideas around work health and safety and help to improve the way that safety is managed in your workplace.